Hey everybody, uh, happy new year. Um, it's my first video for the new calendar year, 2021. And um, I, what I wanted to do at this time was to show some of my favorite pickups from this past year. Um, before we get started, I got this guy for Christmas. My son uh, picked him up. It's uh, He talks, actually. Looks like I'll have to do this myself. <laughs> and uh, his glove lights up, too. There's a button somewhere hidden here. And I also got a new tripod, which I'm actually holding at the moment. I'm going to try this with uh, in my hand the whole time for the video. I'm just trying to find this button. It's, like, really camouflaged. Just wanted to get this light effect. Got one. Maybe not. I don't know. Where the hell is it? Somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, got that for Christmas. Before I show the books that I got um, this past year, there was a lot of extra things that I got, like action figures and stuff that uh, I really enjoyed picking up. I just want to show those real quick. There's not a lot. Um, I was uh, able to grab this Shogun Warrior earlier this year from my local shop. Um, I think I showed that uh, this um, Bandai uh, King Kong that uh, my son's girlfriend grabbed for me this year at a, uh, at a, like a secondhand shop. What else did we get this year? Um, oh, this uh, Sideshow Hellboy was one of the cool finds that I had this year. Found that down the flea market. And then just a couple of figures over here. I was able to, to pick up the Moon Knight um, with the help of a friend that I met at the mall. And uh, the Mandalorian figure. I was able to grab that. And the Spawn figure and the uh, Blue Falcon. So almost all the figures on this wall were... Actually, every one of them were picked up this year. And I was glad to grab every one of those. And, um, so now we'll start with the comics. <clears throat> so there's two books up on the wall that I got this year. I just didn't feel like taking them down because I do have thread going across the, the thing here to keep them from falling. Um, this Jojo, uh, I picked up. And if you look closely up there, there's a date stamp on it. So that was one of the first pick books I grabbed earlier this year. And I got the shock suspense stories uh, earlier this year as well. Oh, there was an actual spider web coming from Spider-Man. Uh, got to dust more often down here. Okay. Uh, another pickup from earlier this year was the Frazetta calendar that I showed a couple of videos back. Um, it was still in its original mailer. I should have taken it out again. I just wanted to get this video shot so I can put everything back. But uh, I'm going to pull this out one last time. So the Frazetta 1977 calendar. It's in really nice shape. Um, I'm going to just show every month because I can. So there's the January one. Uh, that painting was called Flying Reptiles. And then... Today's also my birthday, actually. Today's January the 1st. So, happy birthday to me. And there's the February one. I went to Second and Charles today um, in Delaware. Um, that'll be uh, my first haul video for the year. I'll show that later. Um, I don't know if these are sticking together. I'm sorry. January... February, it's called the Jaguar Fights Back. And then March should be right here. Gorgeous artwork called Ponytail. I guess because she has a ponytail. 
Um, this piece is called Stranded. This was for April. May, Land of Terror. Sorry for the glare. Almost everybody says that in their videos. Um, this is a relatively well-used piece called The Moon Maid. And of course, the, uh, the Destroyer. Let me see if I can put that there. I think I was better off leaving it where it was. But uh, I guess you guys get the idea. Um, just show one more here. Paradox, it's called. This is for July. As I said, I show one more. I'm showing them all. August. September. Love for Zeta. Been to his museum. I want to go back. Um, it's up in Pennsylvania. So if you're in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, um, it's not a bad trip to go. And October, December, and November. So that's that. So we will put that back in its mailer after the video. Sorry, as I'm whipping the camera around. Folks don't like that either. All right, showed this in my last video. I was one of the things I picked up this year. Uh, Bruce Tim, the big tease. I'm not going to bore everyone to tears with going through the pages in that. Picked up a couple of slabs this year. Um, one of the things I'd like to do next year is to increase my slab uh, collection. Um, I got three this year. Uh, we got Captain Marvel Adventures, number 53. This was a pickup from very early in the year. It's not in the best bag, um, but you can still get a good look at it. Jumbo Comics, number 94 from 1948. It is a matte has Matt Baker art. I believe he did the cover as well. And then I'm showing one of the best books in the beginning of the video. Probably my best book uh, of the year. The Werewolf by Night, number 32 in a 3.5 grade. So those are the slabs. And some of the books that I'm going to show in this video, I just picked up uh, because I liked the covers. Um including these uh, exciting comics from Antarctic Press. Number seven, there was cover A and cover B. There was a, a um, what the hell was it called? A, um, I'm sorry, I'm not normally this harebrained. Uh, Planet Comics that came out earlier this year. Um, I couldn't find it. I'll probably find it sometime next year. This was a pretty cool pickup that I got. Uh, only paid a dollar for it before this book took off. Uh, static, number one, still in the poly bag. I showed this in a recent haul video. Uh, every year, if I get a Michael Turner book, at the end of the year, this it'll appear in, in the video because he is one of my favorite artists and can't get his signature, of, you know, of course, anymore. A um, couple of J. Scott Campbell things here. Um, a J. Scott Campbell variant. And the J. Scott Campbell exclusive that I picked up from my local shop. The Milo Minara Wonder Woman. And some more Michael Turner greatness. Uh, Devil May Cry number one. It's a relatively hard book to find. It's based on a video game. And then another Bruce Tim pickup, uh, All Crime Comics. And this is in the video. Sorry, maybe holding the camera in my hand is not the way to go here. Um, 
Uh, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, the first cover appearance of Darth Maul. Anything Star Wars is hot right now. I'm going to try to set this down without upsetting the apple cart. As I'm not reshooting this video. I just want to bang these out real quick. All right. Thanks for being patient with that experiment. Uh, this was a book that was always on my want list. Amazing Spider-Man 100. Another book always on my want list. First appearance of Ted Cord, Blue Beetle. Showed that in my last video. I normally picked up some, some of my best books of the year. Like the in the video leading up to this video. If you look in pre prior videos that I've done this in. Um, it always is the case. And most of the time it's because there's you know, holiday seal, sales where you can pick up things. Um, the Stan Lee signature that I picked up. And the Adam, the Blue Marvel that, uh, that I got in that blind long box. And then I was just, this is in the video just because I chased this down for so long. Um, it took me about two years to find one. Um, Fantastic Four 129, first appearance of Thundra. Another book that made the, uh, the cut was this, uh, the trade paperback for DC versus Marvel. I picked that up at the time, not knowing, you know, how pricey it was. And, um, I'm just glad to have that. I'm trying to get closer here. All right without cutting off the top of the books. Picked up this Punisher magazine earlier this year. Um, got that really cheap as well at the flea market. I love these Marvel magazines. Um, I always look to pick them up when I can get them relatively affordable. The rest of the books that I'm going to show are all Golden Age books. So if you like Golden Age, then this is the video for you. Classics Illustrated, number 32. Um, Matt Baker actually did this cover as well. Lorna Dune. Let's see if we can move this closer. Maybe that cuts off the top. Um, let me just give me one more second, guys. I apologize again. Just trying to figure out how to prop this up. Some more. All right. Not, I got a new truck. Like I said I got a new tripod here, and it's definitely more stable than my last one. My daughter grabbed me that for, for Christmas. Uh, Jumbo Comics, one for 111. Just a gorgeous cover. I like the blues in that. And then uh, the first appearance of Tor. Um, got that at a, at a show earlier this year. Most of the books that I got in this video are all from my local shop too. Main Street Comics. This is another one. Weird Horrors. I don't have many Golden Age horror books. Um... But here's, here's another Golden Age horror book. Classic Comics Frankenstein. It's not the first print. Um, if I do come across the first print, I will grab that eventually. But this is a great placeholder for now. And then Black Terror number 11. Captain Midnight number 63. A nice war cover for Captain Marvel Jr. Uh, number 116. And then I made a trade earlier this year with uh, Schoon's Comics. I used to make trades with people all the time. I haven't been able to do that much in recent years. Um, but two books that I got from him uh, made the cut. Famous Funnies and G.I. Jane. 
And then I just have four books left. Um, I got an, uh, my first Golden Age Superman action comics. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to get one with the big border. I'd like to get one, you know, with uh, the, the large box that goes with the, the cross the header. And then I got at Sensation Comics number 84, my first Golden Age Wonder Woman. And then my first Golden Age Batman um, number 57. So finally was able to get a Golden Age book uh, from the DC Trinity. Very happy for that. And then just got two things left to show. I haven't cracked this open yet, but again, I showed this recently. Very happy to get my first omnibus this year, and a great one indeed, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, got that from PGH Comic Expert. And then the last book I got to show you guys was this Gaiety magazine uh, from 1942 with this great Alex Schomburg cover. Just love that. I wish it was in higher grade, but, you know, like they say, um, low grade is better than no grade. So that's it. Those were some of the books that I was very happy to get this year. No regrets about grabbing any of those. Um, you know, leading up into this year, you know, some of my things on my short list would be to like get a golden age detective maybe and uh get uh some of the golden age spirit comics either one of the newspaper ones or you know your regular standard issue one uh pick up my slab game i'd like to complete my uh silver surfer run maybe this year and um Try to think if there's anything else I'd really like to to get. I would like to get the first appearance of Brother Bavoodoo this year. Maybe I can come across a copy of that. Uh, that's affordable. And uh, trying to think of any other first appearances. Maybe finish my Tomb of Dracula run as well. I'd like to get Tomb of Dracula one. That's the big book for me to get out of that run. I have a Tomb of Dracula ten already. Thank God. So that's it, guys. Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a safe and healthy and happy one. And um, until next time, you guys take care.